You might think that you're just sitting there watching this video, maybe you're in a garden, or in a shopping mall, even if you were at home on your sofa though, you are still traveling of a lot of miles per second. Questions about how fast you, or the earth, or anything, is moving are incomplete unless you ask, compared to what? Without a frame of reference, questions about motion cannot be completely answered. So let's go through each level of motion and then add it all up at the end. Consider the movement of the Earth's surface with respect to the planet's center. The Earth rotates once every 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds, called the sidereal period, and its circumference is roughly 40,075 kilometers. Thus, the surface of the Earth at the equator moves at a speed of 460 meters per second, or roughly 1,000 miles per hour. The rate is higher at the equator and lower at the poles. In addition to this daily rotation, Earth orbits the Sun at an average speed of 67,000 miles per hour, or 18.5 miles a second. Perhaps that seems a bit sluggish after all, Mars Pathfinder journeyed to Mars at nearly 75,000 miles per hour. As we learn that the Earth is moving about our Sun in a very nearly circular orbit. In addition, our solar system, Earth and all planets whirls around the center of our Milky Way galaxy at some 140 miles per second, or 505,000 miles per hour. As we consider increasingly large size scales, the speeds involved become absolutely huge. Even at this great speed though, our planetary neighborhood still takes about 220 million years to make one complete orbit. A testament to the vast size of our home galaxy. Dizzy yet? Well hold on. The Milky Way itself is moving through the vastness of intergalactic space. Our galaxy belongs to a cluster of nearby galaxies, the local group, and together we are easing toward the center of our cluster at a leisurely 25 miles a second. If all this isn't enough to make you feel you deserve an intergalactic speeding ticket, consider that we, along with our cousins in the local group, are hurtling at a truly astonishing 375 miles a second toward the Virgo cluster, an enormous collection of galaxies some 45 million light years away. So, now if we add all the miles then, you're moving 1000 miles an hour, plus Earth moving around the Sun at 67,000 miles an hour, plus our solar systems moving around the Milky Way galactic center at 505,000 miles an hour, plus our galaxy moving at 1.44 million miles an hour, equals about 2.01 million miles per hour, or about 560 miles every second is amazing, and kind of incredible. The reason you're not feeling right now is because speed is relative, and we're all on this supersonic journey together. It is fortunate that we won't hit anything out there during any of our lifetimes.